the greedy 3D is. It's a bit of a Marvel day again today. I'm going to be making this Marvel bust. Uh, I'll show you where I got it from and I'll show you how I painted it. Now I've used some decals for the eyes, which I don't normally do, but I think I'll be doing it again as I'm quite pleased with the result. Now, if you do like everything you see here or you like all things 3D print and paint, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, stay tuned. I'll show you how I made old Wolverine here. Rawr. Now he's only having one layer of skin and I'm using barbarian flesh over a white prime and I'm going to make sure that I'm going to get every nook and cranny of old Logan here covered in this layer of paint. I'm not doing anything zenithal, I'm not giving it coat after coat, I'm just doing this one layer of skin and get it right across there and once you've done that take some demonic yellow, mix it into a wash, one drop to a dollop of water there, mix it around well and wash that skin all over making sure you get every nook and cranny of it and you don't allow any pools now what I've done after this is I've used a hair dryer to just dry it all up so it is nice and dry for the next layer and the next layer is going to be exactly the same thing but what we're going to be using is a different color and we're going to be using this color which is a red color pure red one drop to a dollop of water and exactly the same thing uh, get it mixed up nicely we don't want it to be a paint we want it to be a wash so wash old uh, old wolvy over all across same process as before making sure there's no pools if you get pools just dab them off with a damp sponge it's important you get all of wolverine with this and once you've done that change to your last color which is, i'm using omega blue here but any blue would do again one dollop water it down into a wash and apply it to wolverine generously all across the whole color now those three primary colors will add some great color effects to the skin which means that we don't need to be doing layer after layer of skin we're using washes and this is a great way to get a realistic skin tone i've used it before you've probably seen it before and i'm quite happy with how the whole process comes out And there we go, he's all done. Look at those lovely skin tones, really happy with those. Now make sure you seal your work and I'm using a matte varnish because I'm going to do a little bit of work on him afterwards and I don't want to destroy or ruin the colours that I've got below. Now make sure you get a well ventilated area, use your respirator mask here, get your vacuum uh, on your paint booth on and here's some of the other bits that I've just painted up. I'm not going to go into detail, there's some claws and a base, we'll come back to them at the end. Right, I'm going to get some Dragonfire Red, but any red would do, and I'm going to water it down quite significantly into a wash, and I'm going to apply it on his face in the areas that should be a little bit more rosy, like his cheeks, and I'm going to get a cotton bud here or a Q-tip, and I'm just going to dampen it up a little bit, and I'm going to use that to blend it into the skin colours. Now, this technique of doing the skin this way, adding the washes on, the, uh, the yellow, the red, and the blue wash, seal it, and then what we're going to do is build layer upon layer on the skin using reds, browns, lighter skin tones and we're going to just merge everything in into a more realistic skin tone. Um, now I saw this technique done on the internet and, and it actually blew me away and I did the uh, the wonder face which you can see here which was pretty much one of the first ones I did using this technique and I love it, absolutely love it and I'm definitely going to be doing all my skin this way moving forward. It's it's a little bit more time consuming, it's a little bit more long winded, but the end results just far outweigh the effort that you're putting in. So you can see me here, some more red is going onto his shoulders and I'm just merging it all in. You make sure that that Q-tip, that uh, cotton bud is damp and uh, don't forget his ears, never forget the ears. And I've moved onto a sponge here, a damp sponge, just to do exactly the same process, put it on dab it off put it on dab it off merge it in use a base skin tone as well if you're worried about any lines or any really strong marks between the two colors and, and that will blend it in nicely but uh, red is one of your primary colors that's going on top here 
And as you can see, I've gone now to a very light skin shade, just barbarian flesh mixed with a little bit of white. And I'm putting this on the areas that the light would catch. So his cheeks stick out, his uh, bridge of his nose would be the same, and his forehead and parts of his upper parts of his chest and his body will also do it. So you'll just see me dabbing it on and, and wiping it off and dabbing it on and wiping it off. And if you put a bit too much on, like I have on his, uh, on his right shoulder here, just uh, you get that sponge, it's damp and just merge it in and believe me honestly because you protected the base layers absolutely fine it'll all go in really really lovely and nicely and you'll get it to merge in great absolutely no problems at all I'm just taking a bit of time and speeding up the process now so yeah, I'm going to watch the whole thing do it exactly the same changing colors dabbing it in dabbing it out until I'm happy and I've took a leather brown on a firm bristled toothbrush and I've watered it down and I'm just going to flick these brown speckles all over his face and his chest until I get a good coverage all over. Now when you're happy that you've speckled him enough, get a bit of white, mix it with a hint of blue and paint the whites of his eyes in there. Don't forget we're putting some decals on so I'm not going to be painting no irises and no pupils. I'm going to be uh, transferring them in. So make sure you get all the whites of the eyes. Try to keep away from your skin if you can. Take your time with this big really narrow brush and get that whitey bluey colour right into the white areas of his eyes. Now, while those are drying, usual thing with the lips, a little bit of skin colour, a little bit of red, a little bit of brown, and I'm just going to add a little bit of colour to his lips, to the top and to the bottom, and I'm going to take a darker colour in a bristly brush, and I'm just going to pull those lines down to give an effect of lip lines on there, and uh, the lips will be virtually done, then I've done a highlight at the end as well, but they're done. Don't forget the top lip too, pull those lines through it, and... Uh, now it's time for the teeth. Now, now all of his teeth, they're going to be white on this model. I'm not going to be worried too much. You can use a pallid bone colour if you like. But I'm just going to get a really fine brush, a dollop of white on the end. And I'm going to paint those teeth in to give him a little bit of colour and a bit of shazam. And there he is. Okay, back to the eyes. Now I've put that first shade on, the bluey grey. I'm going to work a white, and I'm just going to put the white in the centre parts of the eyes. I'm going to leave the bluey grey above and below, but the centre part, I'm going to work a little bit more of a white colour. And I'm using a pink here to drag a bottom layer line on the underside of the eye, uh, where the inner part of the eye would be, the eyelid. So I'm dragging that right the way across from left to right. So what I'm doing in essence is framing the eye with a pink lower colour which is the natural look and colour of the eye. Um, don't forget to do the tear ducts as well right on the inner part of the eye and the outer edge as well need to be a little bit pink. Using some black we frame the bottom with pink we're going to frame the top with black just make sure you don't overload your brush because you're doing a really thin line and paint that layer of black across the top eyelid. Now as I've always said in women you can get away with doing a top and bottom layer of black but in men this needs to be black really just to show and differentiate the shadow and shade of the top of the eye from the bottom of the eye bit thinner key so make sure you've got a really really fine brush and not too much paint on there and, and just take your time if you get it wrong you need to start again that's fine you know it's a learning process doing eyes they're a little bit of a nightmare and what you need to do is just go backwards and forwards with the pink and with the black and with the white and just get it as neat and as tidy as you can until you're happy with it like that And um, what I'm doing here is I'm just doing what I've said. I'm going to go backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards until I get a, a sort of satisfactory result until I'm happy. And once I'm happy, I'm going to put some eyebrows on, very thin brush, using a black paint to start with. And I'm going to draw those lines across his eyebrows on both sides. No dollops, no caterpillars, just fine, thin lines to frame his eye. Now his, his right eye, looking to the left there, looks like he's uh, pulling a bit of a face so the eyelash is coming up, uh, sorry the eyebrow is coming up a lot higher. 
Now, don't worry about those eyebrows looking very black. I'm going to come back to them and low light them with brown. But I'm taking this fine brush now and I'm just going to paint black across every part of his hair and his beard. But we are going to low light those down to brown later. But I want a black underlayer. Fine brush, take your time and enjoy this bit and give it a good old blast in a black. Now, there you go, it's all done and it's black and I'm just putting one of the decals in. I don't know if you've ever used decals, they're, they're pretty good. Uh, I'll put a link in the description of where you can get them from. You just basically cut them out to size, you get them nice and wet, and then you slide them into the eye. Now, now make sure the eye is a little bit wet to start with so you can move it around. But uh, once it's in position and once you're happy with it, that's it, it's done. So you'll see it with this one. I've got it on a bit of a tweezer. I've wet the under sort of layer of it and I've poked it into his eye. And I'm just going to use a toothpick now to move it around on that damp eye into a position where I'm happy. And you can move it around once it's in there. Just be careful with it. It's really, really fragile. But once it's done and once it's in, it looks really nice. And they do look like realistic eyes and they save you painting and making those little circles and the dollops and the colours and everything else. It does save you a little bit of time. Maybe not as much fun, but the end result is really good. As I say, I'll put a link in the description as to where you can buy them. And as an Amazon affiliate, if you buy from me, a little something comes back to the channel. And there we go. The eyes are done. Wonderful. So we did mention we were going to low light with some brown. So I'm just using a nice wide brush, some brown on there, and I'm going to low light into that black. You can do it the other way around, I guess, brown and black low lights, but I find it looks much, much nicer if you put a layer of black down and then you low light with the brown. And I'm also going to low light or highlight with some silver at the end there just to uh, make him look a little bit more pingy and shazazzy. And uh, there we go. Wolvie's done up there. Absolutely marvellous. Really happy with that that hair's come out. Using some of this, this is Citadel. It's one of their technical colours. It's a blood colour. I'm going to just add the bits of blood where it would be naturally because he's he's been shot a couple of times and he's also got some claws coming out of his back. So I'm going to add all the red in now and that's Wolverine done. Hope you've enjoyed today. Please subscribe to the channel. If you need to buy anything, buy it from the description link. And... Uh, I'll show you the end result for Wolverine. I really, really hope you've enjoyed what you've seen today. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time on Greedy 3D.